Warning, the following presentation contains cold, hard truths that might change the way you think. Viewer discretion won't do you any good now. I bet you're a whore of a mother curses the day that condom broke, huh? Wow, I don't mean to toot my own horn over here, but that was just an incredible shot. I mean, let, let's give me a little round of applause here, really. I think I... Oh, whoa, 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 what the... You know, I deserved that. The highly anticipated sequel to Ghost Recon Wildlands is Among Us, and it was received very poorly, which is mainly due to the fact that there is a serious medical epidemic currently sweeping the nation, really the world. An affliction that affects men and women, and one that is far from a joking matter. I'm talking, of course, about micropenile dysphoria. You know, I wish that were the case. But the truth is, Ghost Recon has been batting zero with the general public for quite some time now. The previous title in the franchise was just downright offensive, literally. And while Breakpoint may not have an offensive storyline, per se, it does have its fair share of shortcomings when compared to the previous title. There aren't enough hats. There aren't any cigars. The skill tree is a mess. They got rid of the drone explosion. The respawn system is garbaggio. There's too much Bethesda mountain climbing. And this isn't even Bethesda. There's too much back and forth in the side missions. There's no GPS for some reason. So you never drive anywhere and kiss goodbye all those highway shootouts. Navigating the map is obnoxious. Navigating the menus is obnoxious. The game is buggier than a bait shop with melted chocolate bars on the roof. Oh, and there were some microtransactions at some point. Now, the thing that Ubisoft's marketing campaign seemed to really latch onto was the idea that in this game, you are the prey. Enemies will now always be on patrol throughout the world. A constant reminder that in Ghost Recon Breakpoint, you're the prey. And while this all sounds fine and dandy, what it really means is that enemies are everywhere and it's a total pain in the ass to fast travel. Now, this game is a direct sequel to Ghost Recon Wildlands, and although I can easily say I prefer that game in every single way, I would be lying if I said I didn't still have great times playing Breakpoint. I mean, seriously great times. Coupled with being so fucking angry, it is not even funny. This game is like the Starsky and Hutch of gaming. It's bad, but it's amazing. You just can't compete with the Ghost Recon formula, no matter how fucked up it's become. Even with all its problems, Breakpoint is still a fantastic looking, addictive, open world multiplayer RPG shooter with tons of looting and strategic fun to be had. This time we're given a sophisticated sci-fi tropical paradise to do all our ghost reconning. Sneaking around luxury waterfront housing or remote science labs, flying that drone, stealing helicopters, stealing trucks and boats, sniping, sniping, and also using the sniper rifle to snipe. Eng. We already went through the things that they took a giant shit on, such as the no drone explosion and the no GPS, so let's look at some of the good. We have the prone camo ability now. It comes in handy. Can't argue with that. You can pick up bodies now and throw them. It's mildly fun to do. I think they made shooting down helicopters a little easier in this game. I mean, if you get a good sniper rifle, all you need is three shots and those suckers go down. Look at this. Oh, right into the base. The story is a little better than in the last game. A little. It actually has characters who develop, but some of these cutscenes are actually really entertaining. Like the one where the villain Cole Walker is torturing the shit out of somebody, and then he just goes and eats a waffle. I mean, you, you better let go that guy's ego. <laughs> The 
The short version of the storyline is as follows. Former Ghost Colonel Cole Walker, aka John Bernthal, has decided to go rogue and is basically just acting like a total douche. He got his hands on some sophisticated drone technology and is up to absolutely no good. The drone tech's creator, billionaire philanthropist Jace Skell, is among the handful of NPCs that will offer you intel and missions to help take down Walker and his team of soldiers called the Wolves. You know, I can't tell who's more of a douchebag. The guy who's committing acts of drone terrorism, or the guy that's named Jace Skell. That is a stupid fucking name. Anyway, the equipment system, in my opinion, is better than ever. Some people definitely don't like that it's taken more of a division-y turn, and I can respect that, but I personally think it's a plus. Items are better hidden in this game. You'll constantly be running through labyrinths and mazes just to find a new jockstrap or whatever this shit is. Actually, you're constantly getting helpful loot in this game because you're always equipping better and better gear. That is also something that some people might not like, but I do. Shooting does feel slightly tighter in general, and taking a breath with L2 or LT feels noticeably smooth. Riding in vehicles while shooting is also slightly more stable. Slight. H have I mentioned slight? I noticed this game seems to have a very high number of Asian women in it. So if you're into that, well, you get to look at a lot of Asian women. The survival system is overall fun, and it's cool that now there is a need to craft preparations and skill ammo such as rockets, attack drones, and intel grenades. I also just love to walk around and pick up plants. It just gives you more to do. In terms of what makes this game different from its predecessor, some things did become drastically worse for no reason, some things were improved slightly, and some things stayed the same level of crappy. In terms of things that have stayed bad, shooting from helicopters stayed bad. It's still impossible, just never gonna be a thing, give up the dream. The bivouac system has been added, which lets you camp out, call players, heal yourself, craft items, or summon vehicles. So technically it's a plus, but I don't like this thing at all, and would rather be able to do this stuff from anywhere, so this just cancels itself out. Now, I hate to keep comparing this to Ghost Recon Wildlands, but it is the sequel, and if there was anything to compare that game to, here it is. But I think my least favorite thing about Breakpoint is simply its neglect of the automobile. Because there's no GPS, there's really no need to drive. Ever. But the game also has a serious lack of chase sequences, and the only enemies that get into cars and drive away are the optional ones that are holding scale credits, which makes the missions feel a lot more contained and predictable. But hey, if you're a person that didn't care for any of those things in the previous game, and you would rather just fly everywhere anyway, then you might not even notice that it's lacking this. Now we're gonna shift gears into the real purpose of why I made this video. To explore some of the funniest bugs that I've had the pleasure of experiencing while playing any game. We've got spawning in idiotic places, clothing appearing and disappearing, seeing your beard hovering in front of your face, but not seeing your gun, not being able to shoot or do anything for minutes at a time, this one's terrific. A real joy to experience. We have janky vehicle movement in multiplayer. Enemies running in circles. This... just... Ugh. Having a parachute stuck to you indefinitely. Look at this. Look how long this thing was attached to me. Just fuck you. Here's a bug that's the opposite of a bug that was in Ghost Recon Wildlands. Instead of seeing a mission failed pop up over and over again, now you can see a mission completed pop up instead. It's a great improvement. Look at this. My motorcycle just will not get off of this mountainside. Come on. Come on. There we go. Let's go. Come on. Oh man, I feel like James Franco in 127 hours. Huh. Looks like this deer is stuck in some sort of time loop. Well, I think we all know what needs to be done here. Did the right thing, you guys. Should be proud. Look at this. W we just blew up this helicopter, but it's still floating there. Continuously burning with the passengers still alive inside. This is just... nightmarish. I'm gonna snipe each passenger and see if that helps. Ah, uh, yeah, that'll do it. 
But the most common and hilarious bug of all is that sometimes when you're flying a helicopter or sitting passenger in someone else's, all of the sudden the other player just gets ejected from the cockpit and is then floating outside the helicopter in midair. This happens a lot, yet it never gets old. Look at look how far away he went there. It's like a little tiny ant man. I mean, this is just fucking great. I, I honestly love this bug. I really do. Now, my theory as to why this game is so buggy is that it simply got too big. Seven years ago, we started Wildlands with a team of 30. We now have more than a thousand developers focused on Ghost Recon. Breakpoint is bigger and better than anything we've done before. Now, don't forget the third B, buggier. It sounds like they probably just packed too many things into this game and ultimately had to sacrifice functionality to make it all function. But the good news is Ubisoft is the kind of company that puts in the effort to listen to player feedback and fix as many issues as they can. And I will admit that the game has gotten slightly less buggy since its release. As annoyed as I've been with this game, and trust me, I have been very perturbed, it still manages to be insanely fun and addictive. It has great presentation and a truly massive world to explore that's filled with realism, enemies to encounter, and things to do. It has a pretty expansive storyline, great attention to detail, tons of customization, tight gunplay, and fairly solid multiplayer capabilities. The game is definitely rough around the edges, and I've spent a fair share of time just struggling to get anything accomplished at all. But when you're behind enemy lines and the heat is getting hot, it all starts to feel great. There's nothing like getting one of these heavy guys right in your sights and just Wait, what the fu- Are you fucking kidding me? I just had that guy in my sights, and then he, he- and then he just teleported behind me. Holy shit, I hate this game. I hate it. I fucking hate it. <sighs> Tight game, though. Honestly. I- I do like it. I- I'm not kidding. It it's fun. It is- it is fun. <laughs> oh, God, you fucking- <laughs>